Hello and welcome to Bohan Guitars and Ukulele. Uh, this is going to be a glue test specifically on torrified spruce. Um, so the top wood, which is just top wood offcuts from a uke that I made, um, is torrified Sitka spruce from LM, no, from Stumac. Um, and I just bought this as a test piece and it turned out to be good and usable, so I'm using it, or I used it on a different uke. And then I thought it would be interesting to do some glue tests. Um, so I heard from very experienced luthiers, luthiers who have been at this for, you know, doing it 20 years longer than me, that hot hide glue doesn't stick very well to torrified spruce and that tight bond is better to use and when someone tells me that I usually you know if they are being around the block I listen to them but I also do my own test just because it's interesting um, so what I've got is torrified spruce top then I've got Torrified spruce braces and also normal Sitka spruce braces. And I did hot hide glue, which is the hot hide glue TB, which is tie bond. And cold high glue, which is this stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is just try and pull them apart and see if there's any difference between the cold high glue or all the different glues with torrified spruce on torrified spruce and if that is different in holding power to normal spruce on torrified spruce and I can do that you know six different times so it's going to be interesting if there is a difference at all um, I still trust whatever the I don't know what is going to happen here but uh, I, whatever the outcome here, I'm still going to trust those other luthiers who work in kind of a small uh, factory setting, like about th I think about 300, maybe 400 guitars a year, and they've been at it for a lot longer. I won't, I won't tell you who they are, but they're world famous. So let's go. The one that. I predict is the worst is going to be cold hide glue. So let's see. This top is about 80 thou thick or something. And having said all that, I might not be able to pull these off. Okay, so the it broke at the glue line. I didn't have to push that hard, but it kind of, it's more the wood, which doesn't really surprise me with Torrified because it's, it's very brittle. This is probably going to be a bit stronger. It might, the normal spruce is stronger or less brittle than this. Torrified spruce. I hope you can see the color difference there. But we'll see. So I think it might shear off similar to this, but in reverse. So the top part, as in, you know, what is a scrap of top will come off. But we'll see. It might just be the way I'm pushing it, which kind of dictates the results as well. Like I said, this is not scientific. Ow, fuck. 
Um, yeah, so exactly what I predicted. Um, so the opposite of this one. Let me zoom in here. So this is torrified, untorrified, and torrified is more brittle, and so you can see that the brace itself pulled apart, uh, the wood pulled apart, the glue is left on. Um, with this one, this is normal spruce. And the less strong wood fatigued. But it was still pretty strong. So the, the least strong was the torrified untorrified. And uh, this one was pretty strong. Like I was, I was giving it a fair bit of oomph. So let's do, I kind of box myself in with this <laughs> scrap piece, I've got to do the outside ones. Um, so I'll do the, I'll do the high glue on Torrified first, and then I'll do the hot high glue with normal Sitka, so the same order as the other ones. Um, to do than the cold high glue, tell you. You should get some flies or something. Um, so, that is kind of similar to the um, normal Sitka with cold high glue. But that was definitely on there a lot harder. That was harder to get off. Um, and it's just a little bit of the brace material stuck to it. But, um, you know, wood is always going to uh, fatigue quicker than the glue because even crappy glue is usually stronger than the wood. And I tried to, I did them sort of vaguely across the grain a little bit just to get, you know, this direction and this direction. Um, okay, normal Sitka with hot high glue. This is, I might not be able to do this to be honest because my thumbs are getting tired. Well, it's a good sign that I can't. Yeah, that dug in a lot more. That might be because I was twisting it and it broke, you know, in various places. So torrified spruce does that a lot more than normal spruce. Um, cracks and it's kind of like redwood. Um, so when you do buy a piece of torrified spruce, just really be careful about this. I've, this is the only top that I've got of this have torrified and have handled, um, so I'm not a, at all an expert, um, but I have heard other people say the same thing. But that one, like a lot more top, came away with that, so that's, I guess you could call that the strongest so far, which doesn't surprise me at all. Hot high glue with normal Sitka spruce on torrified top. Um, so, well, we'll see.
see how the tight one goes. Then I'll make a judgment. Um, do the torrified first. Torrified brace on torrified top. Of all the experiments I've done, this one sucks the most, <laughs> killing my fingers. Um, so a lot of the brace came away, the glue held it on. Um, yeah. So far I'm not noticing any adhesion issues at all, like this is a real pain to try and rip these off. So this is <laughs> Sitka Spruce on Torrified Top with Type Bond. The last one was Type Bond, by the way. Ow. That one, about the same, but looks like all the glue held, apart from this little area. This glue held this part got stuck to here but if you look at the samples this was hot high glue and that was hot high glue this is tight bond and tight bond so everything held really well on this experiment with this wood in this workshop. That's as much of a pronouncement as I'll make because, um, you know, when you cook wood, when you torrify it, different suppliers cook it for longer or less time at different temperatures. Um, and not only that, the piece of wood is different from supplier to supplier, or the tree is different. And each bit of wood in all the trees are different. So each each part is going to react differently, and you have to be aware of that. Um, so I didn't I didn't notice any adhesion issues with either torrified or normal Sitka braces with any of these three glues. They all glued well, including the crappiest. Well, not crappiest. The the glue that is least used in glue 3, which is cold high glue, um, for, you know, gluing braces and that. Most people either use high glue or tight bond, hot high glue or tight bond original. Um, so, you know, just with these scraps in this workshop, with these glues, with this torrified top, and these torrified braces, and this Sitka brace, I didn't notice any adhesion issues, but like I said, that might be a lot different um, if, you know, you get these from a different supplier, and even from the same supplier in a different batch, if the person who torrified it for the supplier changed, you know, the temperature and stuff, you just never know. Um, but it's always interesting to do your own experiments and stuff like that. Um, so I'll leave it there. I, I learned something. Hope you did. Um, if you didn't learn something, then you know everything and, you know, <laughs> good for you. Um, I'm going to let my thumbs relax a bit because they still hurt from that freaking thing. Um, if you enjoy these semi-interesting... <laughs> videos uh do subscribe and uh if you want to know about some particular element that i haven't dealt with before uh let me know and uh, i will do a video on it because i just do these as i see fit um thank you very much
these are the glues again and they all seem to work pretty well or very well and you can ask my thumbs okay thank you bye bye